Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswate Deve Nirvishesha Shunyavari Paschatya Deshatarine Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Radhara Shivasari Gora Bhakti Brinda
the best thing that could happen to a person is that he or she could get a tune like that stuck in his or her head. Because it's the song that we keep in our heart that either liberates us or keeps us drawn to the objects of the senses in the material world. Who would have thought that music is so important in rhythm? And it's, it's not just any song, just like Carl Sagan once said, when walking through a library and he pointed to a large section of the library and he said, if you read a book a month, this is how many books you could finish in one lifetime. And then when he got to the end of the long row, he said, but it's not the books themselves, it's the kind of books that you read, not the volume of books that you read that counts. So in the process of distilling the essence of all spiritual practices, the great saints have come down to a single song that will liberate you from the material world. It's good, right? Yes. Come on. Yes. Give us a little love on that one there. Yes. Yeah, but that's what you need is a song. Who's going to argue with that? I so said you'd have to test out which songs do what for you. Therefore, the ancient literatures written millions of years ago called the Upanishads say, Anyadeva hor sambhavad, anyadahora sambhavad, iti shushumati ranam yenastad viti chakshade. There are very high thinkers who are so wise that they've been able to contemplate the world without getting attached to it for the good of others. And they came up with a simple formula. And that is, when you listen to a transcendental song, there's a different result from listening to a material song. That's the end of the equation. Do you like it? Yes. Yeah, Oakham's razor, it's simple. When something's very simple, it's usually the, the uh, most perfect answer to the question. And so it comes down to this simple song of chanting Hare Krishna. It's a song from the spiritual world. And if you can hear that song, practice it, and keep it in your environment, especially in your internal environment, in your heart and your mind, then you'll notice a, a phenomena that Krishna mentions himself in the Bhagavad Gita. And he describes how if you continuously practice uh, hearing spiritual sound vibration and giving it to other people, then it'll be like a plane going down the runway, going faster and faster, and then gradually it has liftoff, and it can go above the clouds and up into the sunshine. So in the Bhagavad Gita, he mentions this, that if you uh, don't stop, even in the beginning time when you may not feel that you're flying above the ground, and you're not yet, but still get up speed, and then gradually you'll lift off, and you'll be able to rise above the troublesome energies, the lower energies of the material world. So that's a good game plan for one's life. We have, uh, well, we don't know how much runway we have, actually, right? It's not really certain. So better to take advantage of whatever, whatever runway we have now to get a little lift off. Otherwise, we end up in the same place again and again. Uh, I have a tune, and I remember when I said in the beginning that uh, the, the best thing that can happen to you is you get a tune caught in your head. So I have a little tune I'm going to play on the harmonium for you, a little song that we can sing the Hare Krishna mantra to it. I, th I think it's a little complicated, but if you listen to it and we, we do it a couple times, it might get caught in your head too. Is that okay? Yes. You're not against it. All right, well, let's try it out.
Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare
So now when you go to work and you're walking down the aisle and you start going Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna All the workers will say, hey, what do you got? They say, I have this song that I picked up on a Saturday night and you teach it to them and then everyone in the office, they'll start singing it and then all the other offices will start singing, and then everyone will come out on the street and we'll be walking down the street and going, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. 